Hi, I'm Dr. Drew, and this is Dr. Drew After Dark. Please be advised that Dr. Drew After Dark may contain sexually oriented content and be unsuitable for young children. Hey, welcome everybody to another Dr. Drew After Dark uh, special guest, Tom Segura. Thank you, sir. Thanks appreciate for having being me. Here. I really do appreciate yeah. you being here. It's really fun. Um, your wife and I have developed a sort of a, we've got like a, a razor's edge kind of relationship going now. Mm-hmm. But I still love seeing you. I love seeing you yeah, too, man. So we, I get to get you caught up on some stuff. I would love to catch up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got questions for you too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, I, and I, I'm at the point now where I need your thoughts on things. Because uh, as your wife has pointed out, I, I'm just, uh, I've sort of been dragged into your guys' world. Mm-hmm. And, dragged? Uh, like boiling a frog? slowly brought into the okay. point where okay. now I'm looking at shitting out balls and like, hmm. yeah, you're like, how does that happen? <laughs> Can I do that? Would you try that? Uh, I would try that if I had those kinds of hangers. I do not. Right. Do you know that you can train? I'm sure I could with a, sort of a jelking maneuver. Let's call Susan. <laughs> would she, would she train me? She would train you. Hang some weights. This is happening early, but uh, that's okay. Hang some weights from your uh, nuts. She was, a, she was a big hit, by the way, on your wife's uh, pod. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, here we go. Let's see what so she now, says. Now that YMH, the world knows her and loves her. Yeah. Yes. She was great, man. All right, all right. So you asked for it. Hello. Hi, it's uh, Drew and Tom Segura. You're on a microphone. Right? Uh, hello. Hi, Susan. How are you? Hey, would you be willing to uh, help um, uh, train uh, Drew in this new endeavor where... We have like these, they're very lightweights and they have um, like a tie on them. And then uh, you you take the tie and you just let the weights hang from the upper portion of his scrotum to basically add some extra hang to his sack. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Okay, do you wanna be a team player or you wanna be just like selfish? That is a team player. That is a team player. That's a good wife. That's yeah, a good wife. That's a good wife. All right. I guess she wants your balls to stay all up yeah, tight, all tight and stuff. She, yeah. So yeah. Thank you, honey. Because he wouldn't be. It's, it's what? It's so great to hear your voice again, Tom. No, oh, thank you. It's good to hear yours. Although the message wasn't nice. He, he wants me to shit out my balls, and I didn't think it was a good idea. <laughs> Well, thank you, honey. You've been such a big hit at your mom's house. We, we, we started, Tom and I started talking. We are two minutes, 30 seconds into the show, and we needed to call you. Yeah. So thank you for being a part of it. Okay, bye. That's good. She's learned. Right. She, too, she yeah. too has been boiled like a frog. Yeah, yeah. She used to be uh, unwilling to participate in such nefarious activities. But now she's now it's, game. It's not just game. It's on. It's you understand on. what you guys yeah. have done to us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember we sat at dinner that one time. <laughs> and, and we were talking about doing this. And you're like, are you sure? <laughs> I didn't know you were talking about this. <laughs> I didn't know you were talking about me becoming a different person. My mother got really mad at me last week when I called her. Really? I called her on our show. Oh, yeah. And I was like, because uh, we were having this discussion, what do you think is more exhausting? <laughs> getting uh, badge pounded or butt fucked like for half an hour? And she you, who, got who was, really mad. You tried talking to her about it? Well, I was. we were discussing it. We, you and Christina. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. we were talking about As the you staff, normally do. Yes. And <laughs> then we, we, everybody was kind of throwing in their opinions. So I, I called and my dad answered. He answered, I asked him and he was like, oh, back door immediately. Like he worse. was like. Yeah, I'd and, say the same thing. And then I asked That's my mom worse. and she started to cry. She got real upset. <laughs> <laughs> she got really mad. And I called her later and she was still upset. She's like, you did not respect me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but I just wanted to know what you think. You know? What are we going to do? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You're destroying the people around you, the people you love. You're ruining them. Not destroying them, you're ruining them. Yeah, but that is rewarding. Ruining your mom? <laughs> or just yeah. ruining me and Susan? Yeah. <laughs> don't cover the guns, dude. Everybody <laughs> wants to see them. All right? Listen. All right, I'll, I'll put a pack of cigarettes under there. There you go. <laughs> Roll them up. You hit some curls this weekend? A little bit. Yeah. Very yeah. little bit. Yeah. 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 Well, not, not much. There are net results, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I, I ran to a gym on Saturday. I was very you proud did? of myself. Yeah, yeah. Good and for I, you, And man. I worked out with a mask on and you know, did the whole thing. Yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, otherwise, I just work out in my basement, in my garage. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, so uh, let's let's get on with the show here. I, I did I did want to know your sh- thoughts on shitting out balls. So now as we're on that topic, okay, uh, you found him, right? Well, I can't say that I found him. Uh, the clip was uh, brought to my attention by Zolo, uh, who works here, and um, there it is. And I did not think this was even remo- like I I like a lot of people did not know what I was seeing. You yeah, know, well, at first like, I thought what? I was seeing something being shit out. Like, yeah, somebody thought real. that he was shitting into his balls. Yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> like is right. that guy shitting into his own sack? <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, it's I mean, whew, that's something. Does he have an erection while he's doing this? I'm just um, now seeing that for the first time. I think he's like three quarters there. Yeah, he's yeah. got a nice piece on him for no, sure. No, I understand. He, yeah, he's <laughs> he's uh, packing. Yeah, but uh, those are extraordinarily low hanging balls. Yeah, so that's like an old man ball. You know, we uh, we talked to him. I, I heard. Yeah, and is that, uh, that is that is aired. Yes, that will have aired. Yes, yes, that will have aired yes, by now. Yes. So yeah, he was. Um, yeah, so tell me, this is what I want to hear. So fascinating guy. He's very born, sincere, dude, right? Yeah, yeah, and, and he's serious about his business. Yeah, and he's very successful. He's a he's an A lister in in that in, in the that world. Industry. Yep, yep. It's sort of online. Well, I mean, I think most of the it, most of it's online. The now, world right? has yeah, transitioned. How do they there. make money off that? That's um, what I've always wondered. Well, I mean, they get paid to do scenes. I think for production companies, mm. and then the that business has really like leaned into the performer themselves creating their own content uh, and having you know like the only fans and that. Yeah, so people yeah. pay like a monthly fee uh, to get access to the person's like private life in which they can show you doing mundane things like shitting at your balls or something more sexual Uh-oh. <laughs> you know <laughs> oh that's not sexual i think that's just like look how cool i am yeah yeah, yeah. hey i can I, dunk I, like that kind of thing you know and we both agree uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done sir yeah good job yeah, man. yeah. This is the Michael but Jordan so he yeah he answered a lot of questions balls. he he um first you know i mean i we asked do you have an extraordinarily long sack and he said yes and he's Worked Working at on it. it, like tugged right. at it, done some training, um, you know. So I he's think. the one that taught you about the ball training. Ball training, yeah. but he said you have to have a naturally long yes. sack to begin yes. with. I would agree with that. Um, and I, I was also, cons- I mean, for me, one of the things is, you know, the sensitivity to yeah, those nuts. Yeah, well, I mean, like, you're squeezing the nuts. I like a gentle pull. I don't want to shove them into anything, you know. Well, the, okay, so you, there's two different maneuvers, both painful. The shoving. Yeah. And the anus squeezing. Oh, so guess what else he can do? Uh-oh. You're not even ready for this. Uh-oh. He's done this. He's put his balls into his ass and then gotten pounded in the ass with his balls in his ass. Ow! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What does that do for anybody? He said it feels good. Oh, no. He also can put his... He's put his balls into his ass and then, uh, you know, fucked somebody. And then well, he, that seems a little. And then more he's doable. using his asshole to pull on his own balls. Okay. You know I mean? he's, okay. He's, so is he one of those guys that's into the ball beating? I don't think stuff? he's into that. He didn't yeah. mention it. There at is all. such a thing. So he's sort of flirting with that phenomenon. There is. Right? He, there is a thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So. Which I've never understood how that works. Either. Like. No. How the like for me, you know, like I said, a, a light graze, uh, a tug. Here's the deal for you young ladies out there. It, it hurts for us uh, of ten seconds. And then a minute later, you're going to throw up. Yeah. There's like an extended experience with the ball pushing. The ball, ball yeah, yeah. I mean, like, and, like and I said. And if you repeated it or continued it or maintained you know, it, it's just, ugh. I have little kids, so you hold them uh, and yeah. those legs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? And you get. And they you get they have some sort of radar. They're like. They, they're just like, oh, are your balls right there? <laughs> yeah. And then they kick them. Yeah, yeah. So, and those, like, you know, you put your kid down and you're like, oh, my God. Yeah. And that's even, that doesn't have to be a full direct yes hit it's a, just a like graze. it's yeah and yeah. you're just like oh yeah, yeah. man so i don't understand how the speed bag ball punching right. works because it feels like that would just be and some of the guys just they sign up for it i i don't get it i don't understand it because yeah. because it's a visceral pain because it's actually an organ yeah outside your body that's right that's why it's out there to maintain the temperature that, properly that pain signal i mean it's it's your body telling It'd be like you like somebody took your 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 Ilium and squeezed it. You're yeah, just, you know your your sigmoid colon, uh, no, and, you're, and your brain's saying this is ex- don't do don't this. Don't good. This is yeah. this is a dangerous territory. Please don't go here. Yeah, I mean, yep. you, I assume you can rupture a testicle. Or yeah. Something. Oh, I've seen it. You, you can they <laughs> they they fracture. They like an egg. They they fracture. 
Yeah, it's good. Did time. you see it from like someone shooting a cool scene, or was it like something else? Nope, somebody hit with a hockey puck. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh. I want to yeah. throw up right now just thinking about that. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Oh, these are fractured testes. All right, an ultrasound. Just go ahead and pull up something else. There it is. Look at so, that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Substantial yeah. hemorrhage. So that's all. You don't like it. There. Don't like it. Uh, let's do a good look. Ooh, there is a fracture. Yeah. Yep. Blunt testicular trauma. There Pow. you go. Uh huh. A 90 year old man with blunt testicular trauma. You, you, you know, something you don't ever see is an 83 year old man with blunt no, testicular no. trauma. Right. By 80, you figured out how to protect 16, 17, 18. It's on. Uh, yeah, it's, it's on. on. And by the way, this, the, that's, it's not even so much a sign that they can't protect their own balls. It's a sign of how screwball their friends are. I feel like, yeah. right. It's all, it's all, all, it's all the rest of the man. Dude, see if you can him. jump off this roof with your balls. Your balls. Your ass. I, hey, my, my sons had a game called uh, Kicked in the Nuts. Just yeah. a game. Called Kicked in the Nuts. Yeah. I can almost figure out what that game is about. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you yeah. would have loved it. 16, you would have been playing. Oh, yeah. Well, we were always uh, nut tapping and tagging each of other. Of course. Yeah. There's something. What happens at that age? Because I already feel you like. lose your mind. Testosterone you, kicks just, in and yeah. your brain goes, ah, woo, it's yeah. over. Yeah. And you're like, what did you do today? Oh, I jerked off eight times. <laughs> I jerked off What'd eight you times. Do today? I tried to sh- hit my, punch my friend in the balls. <laughs> That's you re- I mean, hormones it's, are an amazing thing. It, it, the cra- what was God thinking? What was he thinking when he, or they, what were they thinking? Really? Thank you. Thank you. Makes uh, me more comfortable. Good. What were they thinking when they did that to 13 year old males? Think about it. One of the first thing that transgender uh, males tell me, female to males, mm-hmm. is they, they start apologizing. Like, I had no idea. Oh, I'm sorry. It, 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 you've been living with this, really? Yeah. Since I was, yeah, since I was is, 13. <laughs> is nuts. I mean, it's one thing if they, he does it at, God, they did it at 19, but at 13 is when he decided to kick it in. Yeah. It's, it's I mean. I wonder we start kicking each other. I don't, even now, you know, I look maybe back it, maybe on. Maybe it's an attempt to try to drive it all down. Oh, yeah. Of the evolutionary adaptation. Well, the things we would do, like, I think of uh, when that testosterone was at its, its peak, mm. you know, it was aggression super aggressive shit mm-hmm. right we would fight over violence. things just yeah just yeah. violence yeah. And, um, and by the way it, that violence is observed in every mammal at that age it's right. called it's but it a nice term it's called rough and tumble play rough and tumble play yeah. then you do things like well let's see if we can drive this off that cliff <laughs> yes. and see if it'll yes. you know what i mean yeah just shit like that yes where we were in car act shit like lucky that people are alive it's a it's unbelievable that any male gets through his adolescence really yeah yeah and then you think of uh how you don't it's kind of shameful and embarrassing to admit the level of your sex drive like because you don't know how to cope with it you don't know how to cope with it and because you're just sort of in it and you're an adolescent you don't realize how, how insane it is yeah how insane yeah and you i mean you, some people, you're horny and you're like yeah but you actually wish somebody could just kind of help you through it well it's interesting you would how say to that navigate it because i when i'm coaching up uh, women sometimes in a relationship and, and they're like oh you get so upset when you when i want to have sex i go look he's been dealing with this since he was 13 he's selected you as the one to help him with this mm-hmm. and it feels overwhelming and rejecting yes. when you don't help us and it feels like you don't love us because yeah. this is this is a big problem for us yeah. and you're the one that gets to manage it for help right us. sorry but that's how it works and it's different now like you're as an adult yeah. you know you talk yeah. but at that age you're just totally lost and then you get jealous and territorial oh yeah i mean this is some serious stuff man yeah <laughs> All right, let's do a couple of voice messages here. What do you got for us? Hi, Drew. It's Nick again. Okay, you were saying it's purely a straight guy thing to be like, oh, let me just shit out my balls. No, let me tell you, dude, I'm gay. Gay guys think of fucking crazy shit. Like, I saw that shit and didn't even bat an eye. I was like, oh, I was just scrolling through Twitter at work, and you see that on on the day-to-day basis. It's Gay guys are fucking gross. Like... (laughs) We are fucking gnarly. Y'all, your mom's house is like a literal cakewalk compared to some of the shit that we fucking see. It's disgusting. Love y'all. Love you too, Nick. So That so is awesome. Perfect call. Perfect right? call. And, and sorry that we didn't include our gay male colleagues in this conversation, but sure. it begs no difference. Sure. And we should point out that the man shitting out his balls is gay. It's gay. It's yeah. gay. And, and, but the point is this, what Tom and I were just talking about in terms of the adolescent male out of control. Right. Male, straight, male. anything, yes. just male, male. And, and the problem with gay is there's no female to 
bring it down. Right. We'll, we'll bring it down to try to hide it and or impress a female. Af- actually, I, I feel more for the gay yeah. adolescent because of that. Because yes. they have to deal with that, you know, hopefully they're in a loving environment, uh, where, but a lot are not. Yeah. Where th- then you're like repressing it and not sure. And so you'd have to find another male who's of the same age and can understand. That's a lot to ask. It's a lot to ask for yeah. adolescent. I, Oh my God! How how does anybody get through it? I don't know. I, I don't get. It. But but thank you, Nick. Uh, well said. And again, it is only because of the presence of female that that straight men aren't as disgusting. Yeah. Because yeah, in our yeah. heads we are, but we pretend we're not. Well, so is this a don't see it. is this a perfect time? I mean, I want to continue what yeah, you're yeah. doing, but to show you the some of the other things that Pierce, the the performer. Oh, did. his name is Pierce. His name is Pierce. Yeah. Does Pierce, he have piercings? Just Pierce Paris. Coincident. Pierce Paris. Yeah. Spell, spelled like the city? Or, yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Pierce Paris. Because he 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 has done other things. Shocking. With what? his butthole. What? guy that would shoot at his balls? Yeah. Do, so do you want to see them? You know, these butthole now? tricks? Yeah. Can we do that and, and go back to this of or not? Of course. Just because I feel like it's on topic, right? Of course. Right? Of course. Um, yes. Let's see some butthole tri- tri- tricks. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> So describe what you're seeing because no uh, no 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> for many reasons, for many reasons, uh, a to have thought of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, no females doing this. No, but no. see, it's and it's kind of on point with what Nick's saying. Exactly, exactly. We are seeing somebody uh, putt a golf ball into Pierce. That's Pierce. Yes, Pierce laying down into here. Pierce's laying down asshole. <laughs> Uh, it a, looks like he has a glass or a there's plastic, a glass cup in his yeah, asshole, cup in his yeah, asshole that, yeah. that is the cup there's no flag sticking out thank god you know there's no one had to pull the flag out yeah. and put it aside no caddy available okay so yeah uh, I mean that's and, and here's of... another thing I'm observing is look how close his balls are to his asshole see it's, it's not a long it's not a big dude it's not a big and this is why a doctor is important because we we've talked about this <laughs> and nobody it. said that yeah so you can see that if he and and I wonder if he has an instrument for inserting the testicles, like he has some sort of device. Maybe he's figured no, out. no, just a lot but of lube. But look, it just he, he yeah, a lot of lube, and he, you could see how just a little shove and get that glass out of the way if it's in. I was concerned about the glass, but he. I'm assuming that is more of a acrylic. He said it. He said he tested it out. You know. It's glass. It's glass. Oh man, could that have been a disaster? Yeah. There have been cases of people. Sh- the, if you want to know what has been found up a male's ass, anything you consider has been found there. Yeah. Uh, and gl- light bulbs and light glasses bulbs, yeah. and things have been, and yeah. they shatter, and it's a catastrophe. It, that means surgery, man. It means big colonic resections and things. Was that a Hot Wheels? Oh! Was that Hot Wheels? Yeah. Is that the same cup there? I can't see it. Yeah, Is it's it the same cup. Okay. So, uh, well, wait, give me back. Go back to the beginning. So, hold on. Wait, is it like the... Uh, yeah, it's like he hit the Is thing. it a Batmobile? It's a Batmobile, I think. Yeah. Or is it a tank? Which I don't know. I it? think it was a, a car. Looks like a tank's green. Eh. Maybe it's a tank. I don't yeah. know. I thought it was just like Tank a... would be funny. Yeah. Tank, tank would be a nice touch. Okay. Yeah, well, it's a Hot Wheels that has been sent around a little Hot Wheel little chamber and ends up in the asshole. Yeah. And it rocked him. And as it should. And it's, 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 it's a garage. It, this is, I think... You know, this next one. Next one? Yeah. <laughs> is really, I think, what kind of what Nick was talking about in that voicemail. Where this, you know, the amateur stuff. Oh, uh-huh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> so so it is a someone on a skateboard with lit wheels. Uh, on the front of that skateboard is something that kind of looks like a hot dog, but it's actually a giant dildo. Right. With Is it something along the edges of it? It's that- just ribbed. You know, got, just to add to the, the feels good. The, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the guy's riding full speed across the room. Let's go to the beginning, man. Yeah. Okay. And a nice big kick on the board and oh. up a ramp, up a ramp and, and into, into the shitter. Pierce's butthole. Oh. It really sounds like he's being stabbed. That, yeah, that hurt. That's what, that's what being stabbed in the abdomen sounds like. That Both hurt. in terms of the the tissue effect and the now and the cry from the oh. victim. Can I ask you something? That's not good for your butthole. No, I wouldn't say any of these things are good for your butthole. Yeah, I would just say generally, I don't think that's Pierce's concern. Yeah, I think he's got a really 
He he's not concerned about the well-being of his balls or butthole. They, that's not a concern. Oh. But uh, look, he looks fit. Yeah, no, he's in shape. Uh, and, yeah. Although dirty heels there. I don't know what that's all about. Well, they're probably walking around that floor. Yeah, there. I guess that's right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, his uh, rectal prolapse probably won't begin until he's about 60 or so. So he's got a few years left. And and that'll be bad? That will be bad for him. He won't like that. What'll happen? His rectum will fall out of his asshole. Do they put it back in? Uh, you, sometimes. Sometimes there's something he has to deal with. Sometimes it's a big surgery to repair it. Yeah, because you can't, you can't like when, when the rectum falls out, uh, it, it will it cuts off its own blood supply, right? Because oh. it's, in, it's in a it's in a constrained environment, and you can't just like surgically remove what's sticking out. You have to go back in through the abdomen and pull it all back up and resect stuff, and it's a big operation. Wow. So yeah, wait, so is this something I though? I, I mean, obviously appears. he's a real advanced, you know, how dare athlete. You? First of all, how, athlete. Yes, yeah. yes, performer. Um, performer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but does your, let's say, your average gay man mm. partaking in average he should fun be fine. butt thing? He should be fine. No, no I'm uh, just worried. fear of butt uh, Well, no fear. Yeah. I talked to a, a nurse salesman once who did uh, prostheses, and she said her hottest sell- selling item was anal prosthetics. Anal prosthetics? Meaning replacements. Fuck. Yeah. Now I don't know. I don't have. Any, I can't substantiate that. I don't know if that's true in the literature or not. But the, one night at Loveland, someone called with that one. Wow. And uh, so that worried me. <laughs> I thought eh, maybe it's maybe the effects are worse than we think. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's not a big deal. Okay. I think you'd have to you have to tear the sphincter. To but you still it. advise. I wouldn't go at yourself with a skateboard like that necessarily. Yeah, yeah this is still this is still your. This is and, and if you notice, he almost adhered to my recommendations. The, the glass was probably more like this, yeah. but he's a he's a he's a strong thrill performer. seeker. He's yeah. a thrill seeker. He's 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 pushing the limit. So let's go back to this, and you should be okay. Because the but the the speed with which the skateboard dildo enters is is like the. Um, I'm going to suspect that was more to do with the depths. The than, depth. than the uh, the effect on the anal. Oh right, because that went in. That was a up. long dildo. Show me the dildo again. Yeah. Show me the skateboard dildo. What should we call that? Yeah. Needs that's a name. Good. Needs a name. Yeah, that's long. Yeah. Oh. And you notice it was at... <laughs> now think about it. Yeah. At full penetration. I mean, that is like Mr. Hands a little bit, right? Right. Because... He could, he, could, he could rupture his signal. Honestly, if you did the skateboard dildo vaginally to a woman up a ramp into her vagina, she'd probably still go, oh! That, that would hurt, but yeah. that's, a, that's a relatively straight thing. Yeah. Okay. Now I gotta explain everything. Okay. First, get me a get me a, just a cross section of the of the vag, uh, because what happens is the cervix is sort of down in it. You're, I'm gonna need a sigmoid colon in a second. Vagina 101. Okay. There you go. All right. That's a good one. Uh, you see how how the cervix is sort of down, but there's room to kind of hit the back of that. Uh huh. See, so you could and it, and the uterus will straighten out for you too. So you yeah. you got some flexibility there. Now show me a sigmoid colon. And I'm not recommending you pound women, you know, more than they would wish. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, the middle one. The, yeah, no, no, next to it, there. So you see how there's the, the big S curve, right? Yeah. Uh, that dildo hit up against that t- It didn't make the turn. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? So it, that's the it part. It just hit the colon wall. Yeah, up there. That's the part that leads to the gasp. Yes. Of, oh. <laughs> and can rupture. Right. Easily. That's what happened to the Mr. Hands guy. That's right. Because the horsey PP. Not 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 uh, a skateboard dildo. It's a Lamore. Yeah. Yeah. And done with a little more force, too, evidently. Oh, my God. So I'm worried that Pierce is sort of, you know, he, so how are we going to stop him? He's going to keep progressing. Right. Because you, you always got to up the end. got up the end. I mean, we talked about a new stunt to possibly. Oh, really? What did you tell him to do? No, I didn't tell him to do anything. It was his idea. Okay. I just signed off on it. Okay. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't ruin the surprise. Oh, oh, oh no! I'll tell you off air, oh, but oh, oh. it's—I mean—it's very funny. Uh, it's very funny. Well, maybe it involves here... a high rate of speed. Oh, well, here's here's what I, I have a good idea, we, because I know at our core, straight and gay men are screwballs, mm-hmm. right? That the part of it is to be funny, right? And so if we can get him... Because all those were very funny. Yeah, I agree. And yeah. so and so men have a thing. They want to be extreme and they want to be funny. Yeah. Because uh, some of the ball pounding stuff is kind of funny too. Sure. Right? So 
sorry, ladies, I know it makes no sense to you. Yeah. This is, by the way, the dividing line between men and women that like no other. The, the humor around what I call the three stooges and stuff. Yes, yeah, sure. You know, the punching and the, yeah. no, not funny right. for the young ladies. Not funny. Very m- hysterical. Most, yeah, most funny. Most, yeah, funny. Some, yeah. some do. Your yeah. wife's sort of on that margin yeah, where yeah. she yeah. can appreciate stuff. But, uh, and men all find it funny. So if we can get him more focused on the funny and less focused on the extreme, mm-hmm. we may save him from like a surgery. Okay. So let's get him back in the funny zone because okay. that, that'd be i'd be more fun to watch well too, sure right? we don't we don't want anything bad to right happen. right okay let's go back to a voicemail sorry okay here we go sorry sorry <laughs> how dare you <laughs> i i feel I've, been, I've never enjoyed something so much in the midday in a long time hey dr drew my name is uh, tj i live in uh, iowa um my question's more um so me and my girl always try to have great sex um but a lot of the times apparently she has a crooked vagina and i have a a, a pretty straight uh member hmm. and um i don't know i guess i was just wondering if there was anything i could do to make her as comfortable as possible because it seems like everything i try just doesn't work and it hurts and yeah thank you okay i again men always trying to solve problems do not assume well there's no such thing as a crooked vagina. So your your uh, technical work on your le- young lady has uh, gone off the rail somewhere. Something so, else is causing the pain. Yeah. Now, there's such thing as a septate vagina where you can actually get two vaginas, and that can be kind of an uncomfortable thing and feel like a curvature, so you worry about that. But really what it is, there's something pain with penetration. Now, either that is vaginismus, a, a spasming of the vaginal floor, and that actually requires some specialized physical therapy to repair, to help. Or there's something up inside, cervicitis, ovarian cyst, endometriosis, tubal infections, or a growth of some type. She needs a pelvic exam immediately, and you need to discuss all this with the gynecologist. And so he or she, when they look in and feel around, can assess this and figure out what it is. Not a crooked vagina. I like he, to see how guys she work. or they. They when they when they do their vagina. Uh-huh. Uh, um, okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to get some more things going here. Uh, years ago, I experienced a sex injury with my girlfriend. She was riding on top aggressively, broke my penis. Uh, ever since then, experiencing trouble urinating. Oh no! I think, yeah, no. I peed out blood for a while. Oh. Yeah. More urine comes out after I sit back down later. I, I'm left with a half dollar size wet spot in my pants. Okay. He did not break his penis. He tore his urethra. This is the second Fuck. time we've had this one. You break your penis and all the blood drains out and whole, everything goes purple. You're, you, get a, you get a purple mushroom where your penis was. Have you seen this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and this, is, this happened because I, I, everyone, everyone else, every guy thinks of this at yeah. some point. When you have an erection yeah. um, and particularly probably during intercourse. Yeah. Um, where if, if you, especially if you're on laying down uh-huh. and a woman's on top of uh-huh. you and you can have a, a, a little a, miss, just a, a slight a, slip, a slight miss. Yeah. And you're like, Ooh, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, so, yeah. but that can, that's the typical way it happens. That's the, yeah. That's yeah. what I assume. Yeah. And then obviously it's a muscle, but it can be, oh, no. I'm saying Show the penis, cross section right? of the penis. No, it's not a muscle. No, oh. not at all. The muscle is up in the pelvis. That's why you can make it do tricks. What do you, uh, technically to see those it. two those are cavernous bodies you see those two blood filled tubes uh-huh there's no see there's no muscle there the, the urethra oh, down right. where the, yeah. the mouth there is the urethra right? right and the two eyes of the bug uh-huh. are these tubes that fill with blood right and they go back down they fill and they go back down um and they fill because of arteries uncoiling so it's not an outflow obstruction it's an inflow acceleration uh-huh uh, so again, it's an inflow and outflow di- you know, uh, ratio that determines the, the blood move staying there. Um, and either or both of those uh, corporal bodies, as we call them, can tear and rip. Can they rip all the way across even? And if they tear, all the blood just drains out into the, into the soft tissue. Hey, good times. Uh-huh. And all to tear it, all you do is a big snap. It's a right. snapping th- kind of thing. We'll do it. Yeah, thanks, Tom, for bringing that up. And um, but, but this guy broke his urethra, and he probably has urethral stricture now, and he needs to get his he needs a cystoscopy immediately. That's a surgery, uh, a, a scope where you go look and see what's going on. If you go back to not the the urethra tear, but to the what do you call it, a penal tear or something? I don't know. A fractured penis. A fractured penis. So in that case, the those vessels that were full of blood have actually torn open. They like, they they have two sort of thick sheaths around them, uh-huh. and you can just tear them. 
And so all the Fuck. blood just extravasates. The blood just goes. How does it out. repair it? With surgery? Surgery. You have to have surgery. Oof. Yeah. I think I saw an interview where Rodman said that yes. it happened yes. multiple times, yeah. multiple times yes. to him. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. He said one time he jumped. He tried to jump into a girl and missed. I need a, I need a. I bet he's got a hog on him too. <laughs> I bet that was a lot of blood. <laughs> I mean, he's six eight. <laughs> like that dude is definitely. Got, you ever seen that dude's hands? Yeah, it's like it's <laughs> not make it across the table here. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. And he's like, and then another time it happened. Like, <laughs> you're like what? So every time that happened to him, that was a surgery. Oh yeah. Jesus Christ. And, and he probably has a little something left over from those experiences because you can get scarring and then it pulls the penis one way or the other. You get like other. pyronies. Pyronies type thing, yeah. yeah. And you get bad pyronies if you don't repair it and permanent erectile dysfunction if you're not careful. Oh, God damn it. Hey, good times. Recently, I've started noticing every time I eat, immediately I have to shit. Like two minutes after I finished eating, my stomach is rumbling, I have to shit. Uh, at first, I thought it was a uh, lactate problem. started taking lactate pills. I like the way people jump to these diagnoses. Because everybody, you know what it is? <laughs> Too I, many commercials, I think of you all the time. Yeah. I think of uh, what, uh, Dunning-Kruger. Yes. Where people this is Dunning-Kruger. But, uh, but it's literally from like a, th- a blurb you saw. Somewhere. Yes. You're like, I know what it is. It's lactate. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, this is Dunning-Kruger, you know. man. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so that is the gastrocolic reflex. Uh, w- uh, when you put particularly warm substance in your stomach, you get a colonic constriction. Now, why you're suddenly noticing it, I don't know. Um, don't know. Well, he's 22. I would not worry about it. I would say it's probably getting more bulk in your diet or something. And so there's more uh, waiting for you down there. So wait, wait, so he should just... <sighs> he don't should. ignore it. I mean, oh, okay. shit after you eat. Yeah. Uh, big deal. <laughs> <laughs> keep shitting, man. Yeah, keep on shitting. Yeah, see, I need a... I need a I need a okay sign for some of these behaviors. I yeah. I don't have it yet. Well... I'm sure many of you worry about your privacy online uh, and you're probably thinking, uh, why not just use incognito mode, right? Why not just use that incognito mode? Well, it does not hide your activity. It doesn't matter what mode you use or how many times you clear your browsing history, your internet service provider can still see every single website you've ever visited. That's why even when I'm at home, I never go online without using ExpressVPN. It doesn't matter if you get your internet from Verizon or Comcast or doesn't matter. ISPs in the U.S. can legally sell your information to ad companies. ExpressVPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your ISP, your internet service provider, can't see the sites you visit. ExpressVPN also keeps your information secure by encrypting 100% of your data with the most powerful encryption available. Think about it. This is one stop for encryption and privacy. Most of the time, I didn't even realize I have ExpressVPN on. It runs seamlessly in the background. It's easy to use. All you have to do is tap one button and boom, you're protected. ExpressVPN available on all your devices, phones, computers, even your smart TV. So no excuse for not using it. Come on now, protect your online activity today. We all like the convenience of being online, but just like getting car insurance now that the car was invented, you have to do things to protect yourself now that we're out there online. So protect your online activity today with the VPN rated number one by CNET and Wired. Visit my exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash after dark, and you'll get a three months for free on a one-year package. That is E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash after dark, expressvpn.com slash after dark to learn more. I heard we don't really know what causes morning wood. Wrong. No. We know what causes we've, it. We've talked about this. I think we have. So I'm not, I'm not going to go further. So morning wood is caused by stretch on the bladder, which causes a spinal reflex, which causes the wood. Also, when you have a full bladder, the lymphatic and venous drainage is not quite what it should be. And sleep cycling is associated with erections just spontaneously yeah. because of the size. So of sleep wake up and jerk your dick, right? Yes. yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, yes can I tell you another thing that I thought I think of you on with relate, relation please, please, to Dunning-Kruger? Please. Is the idea that... Um, like as I get older, I become aware of what I don't know, which is that's called wisdom. <laughs> wisdom, right, right, right. That's called smart. But even yeah. what what stands out to me is I realize how much I don't know about things I like a lot. <laughs> so like, yeah. I, like for instance, yeah. you know, since I was a kid, I mean, literally since from two years old, I've had I've loved cars, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then it was car magazines, yeah, yeah. and then it was the videos, sure. and, and then you you learn to drive, mm-hmm. and I've always been aware of like you know the latest models, and I you know I just and I enjoy 
I enjoy driving a lot. And I, I enjoy cars and I go to, I've been to car shows. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been coached on tracks and I'll be like, Oh, I really like cars. Do, do you and know how an internal combustion engine works? No. <laughs> and then I'll run into like a fucking, like a Corolla, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Leno, one of those guys. Yeah. And I'll be like, Oh, I got this car. And then they'll ask one question <laughs> and I'll be like, what the fuck are you talking about? And they're like, well, that's how that engine. And I'm like, nah, dude. Yeah. And then I, and then, then they'll, just basically start a monologue and yeah. I'm just like, but, okay, but, but I guess I don't like cars, but, <laughs> <laughs> but here you like appreciating cars. Yeah. 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 You like driving cars. Yeah. You don't like the mechanics of cars. No, I don't right. care. And, and you, and you know that distinction. Exactly. So you don't say to yourself, because I appreciate cars, I'm an expert in cars. Exactly. But the Dunning Kruger, if you really had that in this territory, you would be thinking, I, yeah, yeah, I'm like I, a mechanic. I can't answer that, but I know everything else. Right, right, right. But the that thinking, stands out to me more, you know? I just always think about flat earthers whenever I think about Dunning Kruger. Like, oh, how yeah. would I have a conversation with somebody who believes the earth is flat? You know what's really right. funny? Have you ever looked up? Um, a f they, there's a few of these, and they are pretty fucking fantastic. Mm. There's videos where you can see flat earthers conducting an experiment yes. to prove that it's yes. flat, and yes. then it's miraculously not flat. Right. And their realization, yes. they're so, like, I don't know if this test was done correctly. <laughs> they, they, here, <laughs> no, here's what they do. They go, So they, they bought this huge gyroscope uh -huh. that is accurate to like the minutest uh, measurements, but it's off a, a quarter turn every hour or something because of the Earth's rotation. Uh, and so they went, we're gonna show you that this doesn't happen. That's part of the conspiracy. And they measure it quarter turn, quarter degree off. Well, let's just do it again. All right. Turn. Let's do it again. And then they go, we need to explain that. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it, that's called reasoning from conclusion. Right. You find, yeah, yeah. The, I've decided it's flat. Now everything I, every piece of evidence, I must interpret in such a way that it aligns with that right. conclusion. And that's Donnie Kruger. That's even worse than Donnie Kruger, frankly. But there's a lot of that going on these I days I tried too. to buy a lot of um, some flat earth uh, artwork. Cause there's a whole really yeah yeah oh, I thought I it was funny that I didn't have some some of it and mm -hmm. uh every piece i tried to buy was sold out oh. <laughs> i was like the fuck man everyone's buying this shit <laughs> i could see that yeah is it funny <laughs> yeah it was just kind of it, it's kind of funny stuff all right heavy our game heavy our game is that something i should understand yeah do you are you do you want to do another one of these no or? i want to do a heavy our game oh this is a really fun game okay okay all right is it like riding skateboards with dildos on it? It's a different spin. Different, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so this is uh, going to be another set of videos that you're going to have to explain as you watch them. Okay, and you're going to have to, uh, and you're going to ask me at the end, is that normal? Is that healthy? Uh, the medical like repercussions that. of this. Yeah. Thing. Radical repercussions. Okay. Yeah. I'm only going to describe after I've watched. Cause yeah, my, yeah. My, you, should, you should enjoy it uh, first and then talk about it. Yeah. Okay. What's, you like that? <laughs> Oh, that hurt. Right. That oh my god, I thought it was I thought it was little kids doing that. Oh. I, I was like, oh. okay, now she's, we have uh, dwarfs, females, biting someone's balls, oh, headbutting, headbutting the penis though, not the balls. Yeah, it looks like they're kind of headbutting the penis, and yeah. then the section right at the base of the penis where it. It kind hits of, the balls. I yeah. think it's right in that little crevice. That so little crevice. I think, I think they're strategically missing the balls. Yeah. My God, I'm trying to get over my shock. I thought you were three. I thought I was seeing Oh, you got a problem with kids? <laughs> you don't like kids? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, so, but, but there's something, you know, bizarrely pedo about this whole thing, in the way they're well, dressed and stuff. I mean, it's little people, to be yes. clear. Dwarfs. Yes, dwarfs, yeah. I don't know. If that's... A kind of plastic dwarfs. Um, and then one of them has on like a skirt and knee stock. I mean, they're, they're actually clothed except for the yeah, guy's yeah. not. Yeah, no, the guy's all there. We just always see is his torso and his, his dog. Yeah. His nuts. But their head, but can that, I mean, is that okay? That Medically? actually looks okay as long as they're missing the nuts. They, and she, she bit the scrotum. the scrotum. She bit the scrotum. It's okay. I wouldn't call it fun. Yeah. Uh, all of it makes me wonder what I'm doing here. But go okay. ahead. Let's well, one. there's more. I know. Uh-oh. And then the second hand is, is that in the vagina. One's in the vagina, and one's in the an in the rectum, in the anus. And she's got the sound is like. Uh, oh my god! I I I showed your wife that the two hand in the vagina last week, and she almost fainted. Yeah, yeah. Now uh, I gotta say though, 
a hand, a, one fist in your vagina and one in up your ass feels like it it could I don't know incapa- like you could just well I, it feels she seems like, like she's gonna double over and look how red her yeah oh my god is that because they've been pounding her there or or because she's actually bleeding in her tissue oh she could be bleeding in her tissue yes is that bad this bleeding anywhere is generally not good is this Um, dangerous to do this yeah it could be i mean just we showed you the sigmoid you could rupture all that stuff uh and it's going to lead to prolapses later it is the 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 v- vagine can prolapse. The oh, the vagine can prolapse. Oh, the uterus can fall out. The, Is that from like double fisting? You could that could happen. That could definitely happen. From that the rectum can fall out. The bladder can fall out, and the colon can fall out. I I I am just in dis. I'm in amazement. Yeah. Well, I'm we in, got I, more. <laughs> oh, playing peekaboo with you. Oh, that's her. That's the prolapse. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Right. I don't know if that's a prolapse or not. Is that out of her oh, ass or is that out? Oh, she's taking a dump? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but the sound, that doesn't sound like... What is the matter with you guys? What is the matter with your people? Who, who found this? The smell of it. If... <laughs> oh, it's coming. I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> Are you proud? Oh my god. Uh, I don't need to see pictures of some poor lady shitting but, on the dog pad. But Drew, it sounds like rocks when it comes out. Yeah. Is that what she said? Well, no, but it just does. I mean, that doesn't, that sounds so. You know? Like, I'm listening. Okay. Right? She's cute. That's true. That she is. I don't. I don't have words. Well, I. I just wonder who sent that to you. Um, the fellas found it. <laughs> yeah. But at my direction. Oh. <laughs> find me somebody who's shitting on a doggy pad. No, I just directed them to a website. And oh, I was like, find some cool the, stuff that's here. The heavy R. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you remember the poutine video? Yes, I do. So that gentleman, um, Norm. Norm, Piggy. Uh, he he messaged me that that's where he first uploaded that video. Oh. So, then so you, I, uh, my, you, my light bulb went on. Well, so I, well, you ran to the I computer. Said, Maybe that website has a bunch of cool stuff. Oh. <laughs> How's your relationship with Norm? Great. He's really, really a sweet guy. And he's into it, Can right? I tell you something that he... Um, I was tagged in a conversation that he was having with somebody else on Twitter. Yeah, uh, about he wants to get implants, breast implants. Yeah, that makes sense to me because that's For sort of him. what he's doing. Yeah, that's sort of what he's creating. He has. A, so is he has a gender thing? I don't. I don't. He just loves big tits. <sighs> loves having tits. Does he like other people having big tits? I don't know. He said he's a 40 double D already. Good for him. From the suction stuff. So what's he, what's he worried about? And he's, he's already... maxed out the, because he wants them, I think, to be like. Huge. Yeah, and full and constantly, because, you know, I, I think there's a little bit of deflation that happens uh, naturally. How did it go with Josh and the, the cups? Um, beautiful. Yeah. He did a wonderful job. Didn't all that hair get in the way? And, and a little bit of pain. Yeah, he had some pain. the because uh, we got we up first we had the cheapies. Yeah, yeah. Like you kind of hand the, pop then them. You got the medical grade diving bells. I saw that, that stuff and that the the suction power. Yeah, is that he said it's really really strong. I yeah. mean, he was like, oh my god, because uh, it, it, it and Norm goes full power. He's just into it. Well, the pain's yeah. part of the deal for him, I think. Yeah, it's part of the. He also has the word cunt, um, like permanently on his stomach from cigarette burns. He burned cut, didn't yeah. he? How'd you find this out? Saw it on a conversation uh, uh, he was having with someone. Did you go, uh, hey, Norm? Because somebody was like, what's up with the discoloration all over? And then they were like, oh, you have the word cunt on your stomach. The in light, like lighter toned skin. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, it's from cigarettes. I, I, I would love to know if he did or somebody else did it. I, it may have been that the Dom did it. But yeah. It definitely, See, if the Dom did it, it sort of starts to fit more with who yeah. I think Norm is. If he did it, then I'm like, uh-oh. Mm. 
Um, he definitely wasn't against it either way. I understand. He's in. <laughs> but uh, on this thread, did you learn anything else? Just know that he really wanted... I learned that he wanted implants and that um, he's burned words into his skin. Anything... I mean, more. I mean, he's, he's so he's so into the piggy character. I'm, I'm wondering who oh, Norm yeah. is. You know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I think in the last few, ever since he left the corporate world, he's letting been, it fly. And and he's it's in it's in six gear. Yeah, it's yeah. really like it's on. And and so was he having to suppress it his whole life? I, I mean, I'm wondering what. And I know that he was kind of double live. You know, had a kind of dual life dual personality because he had to turn that kind of off for that work world you know right oh he also got a new tattoo uh -oh. on the side of his head yeah on his face it's here okay it's, and do you remember can you pull it up can you go to his because it's um oh my god oh i'm in pain Female supremacy. That's interesting. Oh yeah, he's always. Oh, talking what's that? About it. What's the chick with the? What's all this doctor stuff? Oh, he has. He always posts like. Um, yeah, you can't see it in this. If you go through his images, though, you'll see it because he. What are the, all these women that he's posting? He see? always he always posts about like superior women, beautiful women, women you know dominating, telling them what to do, uh. telling other people what to do. He's like, here's a superior. Oh wait wait wait, wait. go up go up. Doesn't that look like him? Yeah, I think that's a oh, it is him. Okay, it thing. is him. No, oh, I think it's him with a wig or something. Um, so interesting. I wonder if he wants to go all the way trans, trans gay, right? A be a gay female. I don't know. That's really interesting. I know. Hmm. I know he really is into the breasts. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, what's it? But he has a post about it. If you keep if you keep scrolling, you'll find. But he's got the eyebrows. That's new too, right? Mm -hmm. Aren't those eyebrows new? Sure do look new. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What is that? It looks like it's a pig sucking a cock. Oh, eating a cock. Ooh. That's what it is. It's a pig eating a cock because that's what he does. Pig sucks cock. You get it? Pig eating a cock. I, I feel like this all is going to throw me into some kind of fugue state where I'm just going to sit here staring and lose track of time. It's a pretty dope tattoo, though. Wait, I don't see the cock part. I don't see the pig's it's head. A, it's a, it's a rooster. It's you know a I mean? rooster. Like, a, like a, a rooster. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cock, you know, oh, oh. game cock. Oh, a pig eating a cock. Right, because he's pig, Ew. and he sucks cock. Uh, what do I want to throw up? I like he's got a mask on. He's making sure no COVID is transmitted. Yeah. <laughs> so good for him. Um, okay. Well, it looks like I commented. <laughs> <laughs> you I, did? didn't, I didn't even yes, realize did. that. Yeah. Way to go, buddy. Looks fresh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he said, super fresh. Just happened a few hours ago and spent three hours under the needles. Wow. Squeal. Yep. God, you got to love him. I love Norm. I, I do. Too. I really do. Yeah. I think Norm is. Norm is all him. Yes. It is no. There's no. Uh, Authenticity goes a long way. Uh, and unique. Authentic yes. and unique. Um, but I'm wondering why he doesn't go all the way female. I'm wondering what that's all I about. I think maybe that I think there's because you know there's so many ways to define ones. Yes, it's all that, very fluid these uh, days. So this a, is his version. I think Norm <laughs> likes the duality of Pl flirting with it all. Yeah, I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, and like I think he wants to remain male in some ways and parts, and then. You know, it's weird that he there's there's and even his his gay stuff is. Not all gay, right? Is that so? Because he likes the dominant female. He likes the female. Oh, he must telling like him. with D's too, right? That's probably his thing. Don't know. That'd Don't be know. interesting get territory to go with him. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna put money on that. Hmm. Norm likes these with chicks with these. Yeah, yeah. Um, we need to have a little RPC conversation too. Uh, everything good with him? I don't know. Uh oh, is there something wrong? Well, I mean, he's uh. He's not happy with us? No, no, he's not unhappy. Okay. Um, I've, you know, I've just been exposed to, I mean, I know he started a, you know, a, a, a page. No, I, no and, I saw it. Yeah. And he's, I, he's really performing. He's performing. <laughs> and there's a lot of uh, white. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. And he is, um, his refractory period is like real short. Ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, good I mean, for him. He can finish, and he's like, "Want to go right now?" Yeah, like yeah. it's amazing. It is amazing. So, uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been like. I don't know if anyone did. Anyone talk to him 
Um, no, I don't think so. since the last time we've uh, reviewed that stuff, I don't think we've really checked. Well, out. my question, the reason I bring him up is uh, I'm wondering if it's time to put the tour up. I found it on my phone the other day. The tour is rather extraordinary. Oh, the right. The tour of his house. We didn't actually do the tour. We just did the interview. And the tour is pretty... Maybe it is time. You think it's time? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think we could do that. Yeah, because we with we held out because I think he was upset. At we time. didn't want him to be upset or to yeah. do, do something he didn't want to do. Maybe you can get a little feedback from him. But I think the tour is. Uh, I mean, his delicate sensibilities are now expressed everywhere. So I can't imagine be upset by this. That's true. That's true. So, and he has um, a manager now too, right? I don't know. I really don't know. Nadav is there like some dude coaching him up on some of this stuff? Uh, I think he has a, a producer working with him. Mm. That, that's the extent that I know. Yeah. How's it, how's the kid that went with me? I forget his name right now. To to his house, he was. Pretty traumatized by the whole Oh, yeah, train. no, he's still in the hospital. Okay, okay. Okay, more heavy R games. That's Paul. Paul Brazil. Paul, Paul yeah. yes. Paul is a nice, nice young man. Yeah. Uh-oh. This is interesting because ah, that's actually quaint. a hot dog. Oh, boy. And then she eats it. <laughs> I, there's like, you know what I think of when I watch this video? That there is an age where I would have loved to know this girl, you know? <laughs> Like I go like, man, if you could put me, she's in game. Yeah. She's what, what else could she 22, do? 22. Yeah. I would have been like, yeah, I think that's why she, that's why she does it. There's a, a millions of 21 year olds out there. They go ah, more, more, more. Yeah. Yeah. And what my favorite part though is the little cartoon, little amazement. Yeah. The little thing, do that again. Which she, before she bites the hot dog. Okay. Yeah. Eats it. That the yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's wild. Here's another one. It's a little different. Why is this all? Uh, I don't know. That's not a hot this dog. This is more of the poutine stuff. Right? Yeah. Jeez. I can't believe. Oh Oof. my goodness. I had some Metamucil before uh, breakfast. Do you think that was her doing that, or was that a, a stunt? I anus? think. I don't know. Oh, I she's think... gonna eat it now. No, no, oh, no, no, no. This is pretty cool. I think. This is pretty cool. You're gonna make me want. Well, just. Hold on, because it's not what you think. It's what I think. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Can I ask you something about this? Hang on, if you... I'm traumatized by this shit. Yes, go ahead. Chris, uh, Christina told me that you told her... That it's not bad for you. Is that true? I mean, dogs eat their own shit, right? Yeah. Until they die? Uh, it's, it's, what I said was there is, you, unless you're ingesting something that is, will accumulate, that's excreted through your stool, mm -hmm. like lithium. Um, I mean, it's not gonna be good for you. Yeah. It's not gonna be, and unless you have some sort of weird infection, parasite or something that can be made worse by recirculating it, it doesn't really happen in this country. How, so. and then this might be like a case by case thing, but how is it possible to not vomit? I don't understand. Really? I don't understand any of this. It, it's very mysterious to me. The dung lady, dung bum, yeah, I'm, I'm dung. dung. Yeah. Totally mystifying. And, and to be fair, all the urine play is mystifying to me too. Well, that seems a lot it's, more It's tolerable. more benign. Yeah. It's more benign, but equally as mysterious to me that people would spend their energy and time with it. Uh, this is good. You can take this off now. And Thanks. The, <laughs> oh, this one? Uh, this one's wild. Really? She's giving head to a corn on the cob, uh, and then it goes into her butt. And her, she's got. Uh, oh my god! And then, wait, this is the crazy part. She's gonna eat it again. No, puts it in the vat. No, that's not good. That is not good. Why is that? That is bacteria. Badge don't like bacteria. Really? They especially don't like E. coli. Oh my god! <laughs> I need a trash can over here, I'm afraid. Really? Very close. Hey, 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 that get a trash can. Close. Get a trash can. As you know, it can happen. It can happen. It can happen. <laughs> Thank you. With, with, uh, the video is still going. I know, and I can't, I can't. What's, what, now what am I looking she, at? She rubbed it all over her body and stuff. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, let me rewind it a it's bit. It's so weird. To me, that just, what are you doing, Nadav? <laughs> what, it, it, to me, it just, uh, I'm tapping out. Oh God! Tapped out. I never saw that part. And, and the, 
You yeah. Want, you want the? No, that got me too. I didn't. I never watched that part. It just, it just seems like brain disordered behavior. Like if the like if their brains weren't. This is like a psych right? ward kind of thing. Like, but a psych ward. I, you know, I had a guy that did this. Right. You did. Oh yeah. I've seen everything. Yeah, that's true. And uh, in okay, in, we're in, good. In the clinical setting, it's called corprophagia. Mm -hmm. Corprophagia. And uh, why is it called corprophagia? Uh, corpro is must be stool. Phage is eat. Okay. Phage, phage is you know to swallow. Uh, and <laughs> Woodrow, my buddy Woodrow, my my patient, used to finger paint with his stuff, and then you know lick his fingers and stuff like that. And he was on lithium. I saw him with kidney failure because his uh, staff didn't realize that he was excreting, accumulating the lithium. He was on lithium to control his behavior. He had very severe autism, like really like couldn't oh, okay, communicate okay. with the world. Sure. And, stuff. and that's what I think of when I see that behavior. I just see extreme like, but that does not look like that kind of person. Right. But here's the real question. No. Did all of this make you feel good? In one sense, that I know it made you feel good. <laughs> and so in that sense, it's the, I'm okay with it. I this Watching this doesn't make me feel good, but watching you watch this makes me feel good. I understand. Okay. But it may, either way, it made you feel good. My, my, my pain was your gain. That's true. Yeah. So it wasn't without purpose. Thank you. <sighs> Is there more? Yeah. <laughs> Is it worse? Is there? Should I be careful? I don't know what's next. Oh. oh. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. This is, this is graduate school. This is this is graduate my graduate yeah. program. This is this not, is upper level shit. It is right. Yeah, this is bad. And we're saving. No. Some of the most intense stuff. You're kidding me. For next time. Oh my. <laughs> but what was this one? What was this clip? This was oh, yeah. two bald young ladies, uh, Asian, attractive, well dressed, vomiting all over each other and into their mouths. Into each other's mouths, into their clothes, and and we just saw one. Vomit into the other one's shoe, and then she put the shoe on. I think, it, I think actually it helps it fit better. Slide on better. Yeah, yeah sure. I just am so, it's so weird to me that somebody did this. Well, it's not just that somebody did it, but that like, you know, we're watching it in the sense of this is like insane to us, but this is somebody's like favorite thing. Uh, That's what always kind of gets me. Is I, I want like, Nick to send me another voicemail. Uh, this is not gay material. No, no. So mm. explain to me how the straight guys aren't more or as fucked up. Yeah. Or as uh, gross. Good point. He said disgusting. That was the word That's a good used. point. Disgusting. Um, because I'm willing to bet that there are no females that like any of that. Yeah, really? I mean, that, that the way the males do. You know what right. I mean? That they're, that's their thing. Well, that's somebody's like, we want to reach for a trash can, but somebody's just like, Give me some Kleenex and some lube. This is perfect. You know, I want to, that's someone's right. like favorite. That, that's Isn't there always, a guy on Stern, a vomit guy or something that wants to be vomited I'm sure. on? Or? Yeah. Oh yeah. There's, I mean, that exists for yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 <sighs> the human is an extraordinary animal. Any um, negative medical repercussions to this? Yeah. Uh, <sighs> You had any medication? Like, again, it's all oh, stuff right. you know that's in your stomach. It's just in your stomach coming. I don't out. think you should probably vomit into someone's mouth. No, probably. Just all things being equal, <laughs> it's a good way to pass COVID. This has taken a darker turn than I expected. Really? <laughs> yeah. what, what did you expect? With I don't that? know. I kind of forgot some of the details of the videos. You normally show me dead people. Are people who are going to die or people who are incomprehensible to me? And I'm struggling to understand and to make sense of it. <laughs> but it makes you happy and that makes me joyous. <sighs> happy, joyous, and free because Tom's happy. <sighs> that was good. I, I've got 
my own vomit like right here now. yeah 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 it's like right right there and i can handle a lot yeah yeah you've seen i mean you're i've a seen, doctor. You've seen a lot but uh, oh i didn't tell you something uh-oh. i have a hornea it's when you're really horny and you get a hernia it's called a hornea no oh. is that something <laughs> i should look at is this <laughs> no but i have a hernia do you yeah i just found out uh-oh Time yeah. to get a little surgery done. I, I should I should do it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody Good. else told me, some guy who's a doctor, I, he didn't tell me personally, but he was like, oh, yeah, I've had mine for years. And Well, if it's little, you can just let it be. It is little. Yeah. I mean, it, my, my thing was uh, I had it on both sides, and I was run when I would run, it would get worse, and it was clearly getting worse. How would it get You would see it? I could just see it on one side particularly starting to get worse. Okay. And it was clearly not going to stop, and so it was on. Fuck. It's on. And it's... Uh, it, it, you know, you go home the same day and stuff. Yeah, it was a little more of a obnoxious weekend than I would have liked. Yeah, okay, but that's it. it was, everything's fine since. Um, is there more? I mean, I'm pretty beat up. There is. What's the What's the one that's left? Is there more than one left? Uh, yeah, we got two more puke related ones. Uh, uh, we're I, good. We're good with the vomit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> I'm so happy I know you guys. Just a, a slice of life I never would have seen. You want to just do one more? You think you want to okay, do okay. let's do it. <laughs> let's see. Pick the worst one. Okay. Oh, this is shit and vomit? Well, at least I know why she's vomiting. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. like... Okay. It sounds worse. Okay, yeah. It doesn't look worse than well, the other one. It's some on the camera now. Look at the screen. That was a that was an accident. We gotta take it from one. Everyone back to one. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, and again, this is someone's like their dick's hard right now watching this. And then, well, that vomit guy on Stern. I've heard him talk before about it, and then even he's disturbed by his weirdness. He is. Yeah, but he's like, it's gotta be. It's just the way it is. It's the way it is. And I worry about development, and I worry about brains, and how they work, and how they develop this kind of stuff. And and then I think, why don't other mammals have this? Right. You know, why don't other mammals have this? Do you know what I've asked you before, but I swear to you, I didn't I think retain. I know now why I know. Hey, go ahead. I, I didn't retain this. And, and I remember that I asked you, but I, and I'm embarrassed that I have to ask you again, but okay. I really am curious. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I wonder why I didn't retain it. Why is it though that forget just other mammals? Why is it that it's men that need to, you know, push these limits for gratification as opposed, like, we don't normally see women going, oh, yeah. you know, fart I, I in my face. I don't think we know. I think it has something, though, to do with, there's two things I'm going to answer with. Something to do with the stuff we were talking about earlier, the young male driving the tricycles off the roof and stuff. We're yeah. always, we're, we're just linearly directed more and more and more, and we quickly escalate. escalate. Okay. We escalate. Um, but there, we, we as humans have one characteristic that no other mammals have and no other great apes or anything have, which is a layer in our cortex of cells that is integrating. This the cortex is set up in columns. And we have a layer, it's six layers, and but we have a special layer that seems to communicate amongst the columns. I, I believe that's our special, that's how we get thinking and learning. You and mean that humans have this? Only humans have this. Okay. Only have this one layer of cells that's able to communicate amongst the columns, right? Chimpanzees, it's all just the columns, and so they, they never learn, integrate. And I'm going to bet that those cells can go a little haywire sometimes. And they may take a little piece from the sexual motivation system and a little piece from the visual system, you know what I mean, and mm -hmm. turn into vomit porn. Wow. Right. And and probably the question is how does it go off track like that? And, right. As opposed to just yeah. And trauma is usually what sends things off track. So I mean, maybe they oh, saw something the as trauma. a little yeah, as a little yeah. kid, some vomit at a critical developmental stage or something, and these those cells just went. Yep, I'm locked into that. Right. And now when the puberty turns on. Meh, and the two kind of are connected. Yeah. Because that's always been the theory, the theory behind fetishes, right? Is that like something at a certain age yeah. locks in yeah. and then somehow it gets correlated to your sexual. And, and people like shoes and feet and stuff, people theorize that it's a, you're a little boy, you're down there low and something intense happens and the intensity of it is what locks you into the to the preference. Yeah. So it tr it, things that overwhelm our regulation tend to increase um, repetition. Okay. So it's really interesting. We have solved the problem. That's I love it. It's fantastic. It. I feel better. I don't feel good. I feel better. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, is there anything else we need to discuss here? I think we're good. Yeah, I think you guys are good. Uh, Tom, uh, I'll need a little break. Uh, Can we get some air? Exactly. I may have put my head between my legs for a little while. I hope that makes you happy. I yeah. It does. And so that makes me feel good. Uh, this would be fun to show at the house, I think, when uh, the kids come over. You know, do like a family movie night or something. So, so like show this episode to my yeah, kids? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, we could actually send you the footage too if you could. Oh, the uh, heavy R stuff? Yeah, yeah. I just look it up myself. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I'll just, I'll just put it on my phone and You're show like, them. What do you guys think of this? <laughs> Are, oh my God, what's going to happen to your sons when they're like 17? Oh, I know. Are you going to go, hey man, come here, just to freak them out? Uh, I don't know. Look at this. I, we always go, we always theorize that like, because you see, you see other uh, couples with children and yeah. you go, you go that when the parents are this way, either the kid goes go that way other, or, or the they other go way. the opposite way. Yeah, yeah. You know, like we always talk yeah, so about. So your kids, your kids are going to be like Amish. Yeah, they're going to move to Pennsylvania, and uh, I'll be like, "Why do you talk about these things? Why do you like this stuff?" And I'll be like, "I'm an entertainer. All right, I'm not like that. <laughs> I entertain. These are jokes." <laughs> And they're going to be like, no, we live with you. They're not jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you live this. Uh, All right. Well, thank you for visiting me and freaking me out and sending me into a fugue state. I really was a little fugue. I was a little bit like, a little bit like, I'm going to, I'm going to pull out of here. Nothing makes me happier. I, I'm sure that, that shows the intent. I nearly vomited. I nearly fell into a fugue. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you all for being here and riding it all the way through. We'll see you next time. All conversations and information exchanged during participation of the Dr. Drew After Dark podcast or interaction on the drdrew.com website is intended for educational and entertainment purposes only. Do not confuse this with treatment or physician medical advice or direction per se. You must always follow your medical professional's advice and direction. Nothing on these podcasts or posted on this site supplements or supersedes the relationship and direction of your medical caretakers. Please understand, I am not playing the role of physician in this environment per se. I'm educating. I am a licensed physician with specialty boards in American Board of Internal Medicine and American Board of Addiction Medicine.